Hi guys, it's me Mitchell here to of ShamiReview.com. Today we're going to give you a full preview of the Android P versus the Android Q. Okay, so recently uh, at the Google I/O, uh, they just released the Android Q. So we were able to port it to the Mi 9, and though there are still many bugs, right now we're going to compare it uh, with the Mi A2 running Android P on vanilla Android, Android 1, okay, together with the Mi 9. So we'll just give you a side-by-side -side comparison. And this video is collaborated with Mr. Alex Tan Yun Kai of Malaysia. Uh, we have to really to thank him for uh, making this possible as he has both device on his hand to make the full comparison. Okay, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Welcome everybody, we are proud to present to you the comparison between Android P and Android Q. Okay, so to start off, we'll show you the about phone screen. So here's the one for Mi 9, so you can see that it's running Android 10 or Android Q. So on the Mi 8 2, you can see it's running Android 9 or called Android Pi. So, for the app installation, you can see the difference that the Android Q is a more minimalistic uh, installation screen, while on the Android P, it's still the big screen. So, this is the main changes in the installation screen. For the default file manager, it's quite totally different from P to Q so when we open it on the P we can see uh, the download screen while on the Q it's totally a revamped design all all in all okay so as we click on the f uh, menu button so you can see it's uh, on another arrangement so the the icons are a lot bigger images videos audio downloads and others uh, on the Android Q, we can see the recent photos that I've taken, uh, the recent screenshot, the recent videos, everything's here that's arranged uh, according to date. So you can see up there images, audios, videos, and documents. So whenever I click it, it shows me accordingly what I want face we can see that when you click it the icon the OK icon is totally different on the volume toggle when we click the menu you can see the Android Q has a more minimalistic design this one the Wi-Fi hotspot sharing and see when we click on Wi-Fi you can see there's a QR code so we just need to key in our pin it'll show you the qr code for the wi-fi that you want to share while on the android p there's no such feature okay so the em emergency information on the android p you can see it on the lock screen but on the android q when you long press the power button you'll see the emergency icon down there so there you can store your emergency information it's easier to pop it out especially when you're in an emergency situation the notification when you drop it down you can see that the android p there's stop notification or keep showing while on the q side you can either choose it to be interruptive or gentle where in interactive, these notifications are will make a sound, vibrate, just to make sure you see the message. While on the gentle mode, uh, the silent notification appears in shade. Okay, so it will not show on the lock screen, it will not show on the banner. That's the main uh, difference between P and Q.
the full navigation gesture uh, on the P and Q, you'll see the difference when I click this one on the system navigation. So we'll just click it, so you'll see there's three choices to make. Either you go for the three button navigation, which is the uh, old style, the two button navigation, this one is present on the Android P, and the new one is the full gesture. Wherein, when you want to go home screen, just swipe up from the bottom. If you want to go back, just um, flip from left to right. If you want to go to the home screen, you can flip from right to left. It's so simple. Just like this, we'll go back home. You'll just uh, swipe down to up. Just hold it, and you'll see the recent apps that are open. You just navigate it left or right to select it. There you go. Then if you want to go back to the previous app, just slide it like that. Then just hold it. You'll see the arrow there. It'll go back to the previous app that you just used. To do the reverse side, just uh, from right to left, you'll go back to the home screen. Theme customization this is something new. Uh, you just need to click the developer's options, slide all the way down for the both phones. You can see that there's the theming. Okay, so you can change the icon, you can change the accent color. If I want black, green, or purple, it's up to me. Yes, there's the you can freely choose green the the green is a little bit different from the green on the p then also can go purple to give you that pixel feel okay so this one uh, you can change font even if you want okay uh, go to serif there you go uh, the font is already different you can also change the icon if you want it you can change from square teardrop squircle or rounded rectangle right now we have selected square so you can see every single icon is square in shape while in Android P everything's rounded so we want to change it to the teardrop you'll see that everything looks simply like a teardrop then squircle it's a combination of square and circle uh, more of a rounded edge square then rectangular uh well it still looks like square to me uh there's really no change from square and that's the theming changes okay so the stock camera can see that it's the Snapdragon camera. It's the purest camera that we know uh, based on stock Android. It looks so clean. There's uh, no wide, ultra wide angle selection down there. There's no AI button up there. It's everything's really, really so simple. You can, there's no beautify. Definitely, uh, since it's still not yet customized. Right now, we'll check the settings. Everything's still so simple, just the basic settings. Uh, checking the rear camera, the settings of the rear camera, uh, we can record at v uh, 4K UHD, but we cannot change how many FPS, definitely not. Uh, okay, so it's very, very uh, basic camera for the stock android okay so manual camera compatibility test we will check if this is capable for uh a api okay just press start and we'll know okay so manual focus manual white balance manual iso definitely this would support support the installation of the g cam and that's for the camera side on the Android Q. 
this one is something new okay on android p when you delete a app it's automatically deleted while on the android q you can still undo especially when you accidentally deleted an app time to read feature this is quite new to me uh this is this will show you how long the message would display uh when you select that app okay so right now it's being default so uh, this is to choose how long to show the message that you need to read but it's temporary okay so and take note that not all apps support this setting so we can set to 30 seconds so your your app can show you and uh, the, the message you want to read can show you for 30 seconds or you can show it to, for two minutes right now the digital well-being on the Mi 9 this is the new feature but uh, problem is the parental control is still not available on the Mi 9 so hopefully soon the auto dark theme on battery saver mode so whenever we kick it to the battery saver mode it will definitely go back go dark mode but we cannot undo it definitely there's no face unlock for the Mi 9 because simply uh probably there's it's still a bug uh we don't see the trusted face on the mi 9 therefore we cannot use our face to unlock the phone for the moment okay no fingerprint unlock for the mi 9 on android q because uh probably it's still a secu uh for this is one of the bugs uh that they still have yet to fix since if we click the fingerprint uh it will ask you to enter the pin but when you go in when you un want to unlock with your fingerprint it will ask you to enroll the fingerprint at the back of your phone touch the sensor okay so uh by default uh most of the phone are still using a fingerprint sensor but the Mi 9 is sporting a on-screen fingerprint unlock and this one it has to be customized this one the no smart reply okay it's uh we can click on the map uh we can click on the address on the message and then it'll show you the maps on g maps So finally, our experiment of Android P and Android Q comparison, uh, we have given you enough bird's eye view on what to expect from Android Q. Uh, there's lots of improvement like digital well-being, like the dark theme. Okay, so uh, everything's being uh, set up by Google. So right now it's a 5G age, so expect something uh, exciting to happen. So since uh, this is still a beta, uh, beta version, so we expect that this has a lot of bugs. Then probably our developers are working on it, and we hope to see more improvements on the latter part of uh, these few coming weeks. So we have tested it on the Mi 9. Uh, there's still a lot of improvements that we need to see uh, before probably Xiaomi can carry it out. So. Right now, I'm thinking, what could Q be? What kind of dessert could it be? So right now, I'm thinking like Quaker Oats, Quesadilla, or probably Queso. Okay, so what do you think? Well, what, what should Android name Q after? What kind of dessert should they name Q after? Pop it down below. So thank you for watching. Again, we'd like to thank uh, Alex Tan Yun Kai for helping us out on this awesome, awesome comparison. So I'm Mr. Sirotu of Thanks for watching.